three, magical relationships. Imagine if you were the only person on earth, you would have no desire to do anything. What would be the point in creating a painting if no one could see it? What would be the point in composing music if no one could hear it? What would be the point in inventing anything if there was no one to use it? There would be no reason to move from one place to another because wherever you went would be the same as where you were. No one would be there. There would be no pleasure or joy in your life. It's your contact and experiences with other people that gives your life joy, meaning and purpose. Because of that, your relationships affect your life more than anything else. To receive the life of your dreams, it's vital that you understand how your relationship affects your life now and how they are the most powerful channels for gratitude to start magically changing your life. Science is now confirming the wisdom of the great sages of the past with research studies showing that people who practice gratitude have closer relationships, are more connected to family and friends and have other people look upon them favorably. But probably the most astounding statistic that has come out of research studies is that for every one complain about another person, whether in thought or work, there have to be 10 blessings for a relationship to flourish. Any less than 10 blessings for every one complain and the relationship will deteriorate. And if the relationship is a marriage, it will most likely end in divorce. Gratitude makes relationship flourish. As you increase your gratitude for any relationship, you will magically receive an abundance of happiness and good things in that relationship. And gratitude for your relationship doesn't change only your relationships, it also changes you. No matter what your temperament is now, gratitude will give you more patience, understanding, compassion and kindness to the point where you won't even recognize yourself. The little irritation you once felt and the complaints you had in your relationships will disappear. Because when you are truly grateful for another person, there is nothing you want to change about that person. You won't criticize, complain about or blame them. Because you are too busy being grateful for the good thing about them. In fact, you won't even be able to see the things you used to complain about. We can only decide to be alive in those moments when our hearts are conscious of our treasures. Words are very powerful, so when you complain about any person, you actually harm your life. It is your life that will suffer. By the law of attraction, whatever you think or say about another person, you bring to you. This is the very reason why the greatest manga teachers of the world have told us to be grateful. They mean that for you to receive more in your life, for your life to magically increase, you have to be grateful for others, just as they are. What if every person close to you said, I love you, just the way you are. How would you feel? Today's magical practice is being grateful for people just as they are. Even if all your relationships are currently good, they will increase with more magnificence to this practice. And with everything you find to be grateful for in each person, you will see gratitude perform its breathtaking magic. And your relationship will be stronger, more fulfilling and more enriching than you ever thought they could be. Choose three of your closest relationships to be grateful for. You might choose your wife, your son and your father or your boyfriend, your business partner and your sister. You might choose your best friend, your grandmother and your uncle. You can choose any three relationships that are important to you as long as you have a photograph of each person. The photograph can be just of a person or the both of you together. Once you have selected your three relationships and photographs, you are ready to set the magic into motion. Sit down and think about the things you are the most grateful for each person. What are the things you love the most about this person? What are their best qualities? You could be grateful for their patience, ability to listen, talents, strength, good judgment, wisdom, love, sense of humor, eyes, smile, or kind heart. You could be grateful for the things you enjoy doing with the person, or you can recall a time when the person was there for you cared for or supported you. After you have spent some time thinking about what you are grateful for about the person, put their photo 
photograph in front of you. Put a pen and notebook or on your computer. Choose the five things you are most grateful for. Look at the photograph of the person as you make your list of five things and begin each sentence with the matching words thank you. Address the person by their name and then write what you are grateful for. Thank you Desh for Desh. For example, thank you John for always making me laugh or thank you mom for supporting me through college. When you have finished your list for all three people, continue with this magical practice by taking the photographs with you today and putting them in a place where you will see them often. Whenever you look at the photographs today, thank the person by saying the magic words thank you and the person's name. Thank you, Harry. If you are moving around a lot, carry the photographs with you in your bag or pocket and make an effort to look at the photographs three times during the day, following the same procedure. Now you know how to use gratitude's magical power to transform your relationship into magical relationships. Although it is not part of the requirement of this book, you may want to take this amazing practice and use it every day if necessary to make every relationship you have magnificent. You can use it on the same relationship as many times as you want. The more you can be grateful for the things, for the good things in your relationship, the faster every relationship in your life will miraculously change. Magic practice number 3. Magical relationships. First, repeat steps 1 to 3 of magical practice. Number 1. Count your blessing. Make a list of 10 blessings. Write why you are grateful. Read it to your list. And at the end of each blessing, say thank you, thank you, thank you. And feel as grateful for the blessing as you can. Choose three of your closest relationship and collect a photograph of each person. With a photo in front of you, write five things you are most grateful for about each person in your journal or on your computer. Begin each sentence with the magic words, thank you. Include their name and what you are specifically grateful for. Carry the three photographs with you today or put them in a place where you will see them often. Look at the photographs or at least three occasions. Speak to the person's face in the photograph and thank them by saying the magic words thank you and their name thank you hi. Before you go to sleep, take your magic rock in one hand and say the magic word 